So I guess you could have sneaked around here instead of destroying those turrets, but it doesn't seem like a worthwhile way of doing it, considering how easy it is to take down the turrets. I was really hoping for something a little bit more dangerous than what we actually face here. Alright, well, quickly save this way. And I'm going to try... Oh, it looks like this is, um... Warning. I guess to open this anyway. Stand by. Contamination. Part 1. Access hatch is open. Part 1. Safety purge complete. Reinitiating hybrid life support. I see. So either you can do it this way, where you run around and you press all the buttons, or... You can do it through the computers where I believe it will stay that way. Let's try this. Warning. Part one, safety perch in progress. Stand by. Hmm. No, it seems like it does the same thing. Whether you do it up next to it or or otherwise. No, this is lasting a lot longer. I think this is just going to remain storage thing here too. I don't know what that's about. But I might as well hit with all these computers instead. Warning. Part two safety purge in progress. Stand by. But yeah, based on what we heard, we need to open all these to access some kind of alpha pod. Guess we'll find Warning. out what that is. Part three safety perch in progress. Stand by. Okay. So now that that's all open, what are we meant to do with you? Are you seriously going to have me kill these people? Because that seems to be what it is. I don't see any other possible way of this going down since nothing changed. That's not really what I wanted to do. I said his signal was protected by the Hyron project. Yeah. I see. So I'm going to have to defeat her through defeating the Hyron system. Can I not, like, just hit her here? Is there, like, there's a wall here, I see. I see. This has to be one of the silliest battles, though. Really don't care for the way it went down. Well, might as well use this. Well, she doesn't want that to happen to her. What the hell else am I supposed to do? There's got to be a better way to do this if she doesn't want that to happen. But I don't see anything here. I don't see anything else around the room. Alright. Well, activate and kill. System failing. In system. Aron is weakening. Rerouting. Connection. In system. Rerouting. Connection. Reroute complete. Five nine one. Tertiary pods are offline. Primary security measures disabled. Power surge detected. Electrical charge above normal levels and rising. Preparing for discharge sequence. Okay, this battle is suddenly getting a little bit more. Uh, Active. Wait! It's initiating emergency protocols! You don't know the resources they have at their disposal, Jensen. Despite our special genetics, you have been seen over your head the whole time! No! Initiate dissipation protocol! Okay, she didn't actually kill him. There is no way you can defeat the system. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. 
halfway to discharge sequence. As long as she's not killing these people, I don't care. Warning. Okay, she's Warning. killing them now. Compromised. Secondary security measures activated. Evacuate area. I certainly hope that doesn't count against me, considering I'm not killing them directly. <laughs> we cannot reach an agenda. Uh, there are too many contingencies built into this system. You and I have both failed. The contingencies you have suck. They suck really badly. Electrical contingencies do absolutely nothing to me. Sounds like she's basically killing herself by overloading things. Why she keeps up with that electrical charge? Yeah, I think she killed herself basically. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything, she just kept electrocuting herself. What a moron. This is definitely a ridiculous battle if she electrocutes herself and kills herself, basically. And what's with the biohazard container? Oh. Apparently there's more of these guys. Looks like there's one more. Come on, open it. Let's see what you can do with it. I won't be able to do anything. Like I said, before it even gets out, it's gone. Your security is ridiculous, lady. Hey, can we just talk about this? No? Okay. How many of these is gonna take? popped like a firework. The end. <laughs> well, that seems a little uh, abrupt there. Love how fast the reload speed is on this thing. Ugh, you got charred. Alright then. I have no idea if we get to pick some sort of ending at this point. I guess we'll find out. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the edge. Hey, Eliza. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, 
everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire I can alter Darrow's message. Conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front. Like Sarah suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution as they desire. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, you must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them. And having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. But only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? Well, that's uh, an interesting way to end things. That also means that uh, none of the choices that we have made throughout the entire game mean diddly squat. I don't like that. <laughs> that basically means that the choice that we make here, push one button, another button, another button, or a button down there, basically just changes the ending. I'm not a big fan of those kind of endings. I thought that that was what was going to happen based on... Um, what Seraph and Darrow and Taggart were all saying, but um, it's kind of annoying because it's not really, not really my thing. Well, um, I think we'll end with the uh, the solution in which we destroy this thing and see what happens there. But first, we will uh, start with Taggart's. Um, we'll go with Seraphs, and then we'll go with. Uh, Daro, and see what happens from there. Let's check out Taggart's message. If you do this, first-hand experience with corporate negligence on such a grand scale may convince mankind to enact harsh restrictions on human enhancement research. Are you sure this is your choice? It most certainly is. Let's find out what happens. So be it then. Freedom. To those who don't have it, it's more valuable than gold. But where should it start and end? We humans often think we have the right to expand, absorb, convert, or possess anything we need to reach our dreams. But time and time again, hasn't this led to conflicts with others who essentially believe the same thing? Looking back on the challenges I faced, at the way I often resolve them, I realize morality can become our saving grace. 
Most of the time, didn't I try to keep my values in mind, knowing how my actions would affect others? More often than not, I resisted the urge to abuse power and resources simply to reach my goals more swiftly. I managed to hang on to my humanity. But the temptation to ignore it was always there. It's that temptation that so worries Taggart. He's not afraid of freedom. He's afraid of the chaos that erupts when individuals have nothing but morality to constrain them. He wants us to regulate enhancement technologies because he fears all that power without limits, without guardrails to keep us from abusing it. Absolute freedom is no better than chaos. Society needs laws and regulations to protect it. So if the men and women behind Taggart need to work in the shadows, pulling strings to enable us to head in a safe direction, will supporting them be all that bad? If they're as wise as Taggart says, how bad will their leadership be? I just hope they stand by what they say.